Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are installing a Tron bike like path trail thing for 5M. Obviously this is um, kind of just, I don't know if you've ever seen all the Tron stuff, but it adds like this cool little uh, green line behind the bike, or it will be the color of whatever your bike is. So it's just something pretty cool to have in your game. You could even make a whole game mode around it if you really wanted to. You could figure out what you want to do with this, but it is cool. So I decided to make a video on it for today. I do apologize for the delay in getting videos out this week. I've been super busy and I do apologize for that. Anyway. Um, so by default, it will go ahead and take the trail effect um, for these two bikes, but obviously you can modify the code if you want. There is no specific configure file for this one, but you can modify the code if you want to add more things. Um, the features is it pretty much uses the color combination for the vehicle. Um, when you get off, the trail disappears. Uh, music events are triggered when you get on the bike. Um, very, very cool things. Um, the effects aren't synced with other players, so you don't have to worry about lag or anything like that. Um, and trails lean to follow the angle of your bike, which is super cool. So pretty much all you have to do to go ahead and download this is go to the download section here, go ahead and go click the releases tab and it will take you directly to where you can download the full zip file from GitHub. Go ahead and download this and if it comes up with a warning saying hey maybe dangerous or something just go ahead and press keep. Just a warning by antiviruses sometimes. You can open this up and you can see the tron.not.dll and the fx manifest file. So if you've never installed one of these before you just go into your resources folder. We're going to recreate a new folder and I'm just going to name it tron just to keep it easy for this. And and then inside this folder, you're going to drag both the FX manifest and the tron.net.dll file into the same folder, and we just know it is named Tron now. And since we kept it Tron, I don't even have to copy it, I just remember that in my brain. And we go to our notepad plus plus um, for our server.cfg file. This file is wherever you keep your server uh, like settings and all of that. For zap hosting, it would be on your web interface. For TX admin, it would be into your TX data folder. Or if you're on your old version of this, it would be inside of your server data folder. And then you're just going to add insure or start the name of the folder you made for me. I named it Tron, so we're just going to go ahead and enter that. And go ahead and start up our server with our start.bat file. Um, and this will go ahead and open the FX server.exe file, which you can see started resource Tron. So we know it works perfectly fine. Now let's jump in game and check it out. All right, so in game here, we can see the trail following the bike and it's just really cool. Um, and I really like it and I've hit a tree, um, but I, I really just like the trail following the bike. Obviously it's super bright because of um, I'm running NVE, so it will obviously be super bright, but um, if you are normal, it will just follow your bike like that. And it's, it's just cool to see, I really like it. So hopefully this did help you install this and hopefully you use this on your server if you just wanna have some fun with it. So thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and goodbye. That's a treat.